in the crushing, in the pressing, you are making new life. In the short life, now surrender, you are breaking new ground. So I song to sing but it's a it's a harder reality to live right we had a, um, a visiting pastor come to to our church at Hillsong um, just a couple weeks ago actually and he spoke a message about new wine and he talked about um, he talked about wine skins and and how the the old wine skins can't hold the new wine because it expands and ferments at such a rate that the old wineskin can't hold it. So of course we know Jesus talked about it. If you pour new wine into old wineskins, 
the wineskin will burst and both the wineskin and the new wine will be ruined. And of course, that's not what God wants. He wants to pour new wine into our lives. But to do so, sometimes the price of the new is the old. Sometimes we've got to identify what, what mindsets we've been clinging to or, or living with that can't hold the new revelation that God wants to pour into us. Sometimes there's some old habits that you've become so accustomed to them that they think that your character traits or that you think that it's your Enneagram. But God's saying that's an old wineskin. That's not who you are. I say who you are, right? <laughs> so will you yield everything to His hand and let Him pour out? Will you ask Him, Lord, what are the old wineskins in my life? What are the old habits? What are the things I'm just saying are my personality, but actually it's just a habit that I've thought have has become who I am? What are the old mindsets? And would you surrender them to Him? Now, the, the pastor said something interesting in his message. He said, sometimes there's a way that an old wineskin can become new. And there's one way that that happens. You have to soak the old wineskin in oil and you have to massage it. You have to knead it. So I wonder if for some of us here, it's not a case of discarding the old wineskin, but that thing has become so rigid that you need to surrender it to Jesus again. You need to let the oil of the Holy Spirit soak into that thing. And then you actually need to work it through with Him, right? You need to do the work and you need to go through the process and you need to get your elbows in there, right? It's a process and it could be hard. But I think there's, um, there's too many of us that are letting the new wine spin up, spill on the grounds in our lives. And, um, and God wants to show us a way forward. So can we sing that again? And if that resonates with you, or if you wanna ask the Lord about it, do it in these moments. But let's sing that again, that chorus, Make Me Your Vessel. Make me your vessel. Make 